Hi Leo, welcome to Body Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of July 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. Leo, I hope you're doing fine. Alright Leo, so your overall energy for the month of July is the Five of Swords. So uh, this could be some uh, people that you're dealing with that are actually disrupting your energy for the month of July. There's some, some kind of conflict with the Five of Swords. Could be conflict in communication as in how one is expressing themselves. Now this card is, is a joint energy. So uh, since this has shown up in your overall energy, so you're engaging with people with whom you could be in conflict with uh, when it comes to communication for the month of July. And if it's not other people, then it, it could be a card of self-sabotage. Uh, also with the Five of Swords, it's like, uh, you know, somebody wins a, a battle, but there's no true winner kind of because it's a it's like a lose-lose situation not a win-win situation uh, the energy that you're dealing with is the two of cups so whatever uh, you know whoever this person is that is primarily occupying your energy for the month of July is someone who's really important the two of cups is somebody who's with whom feelings are mutual as in if you love this person, this person loves you back. If you're frustrated with this person, this person is frustrated with you as well. So it, it's mutual, whatever the feelings may be between the two of you. And this could be, again, related to this five of swords. You know, the two of you uh, trying to uh, figure out something. We will get clarifiers, but with the Two of Cups, this is a very important, meaningful and a soulmate connection. Uh, the, uh, the opportunity coming your way is the Seven of Wands. So you will get a chance to defend yourself in a situation when it comes to, uh, you know, I, I, I don't see the reason for you to, uh, the reason for you, uh, the need for you to defend yourself unless you were being um, attacked or were feeling attacked. Uh, by the people around you but you see how this this spider is on higher ground so that's you Leo uh, standing on higher ground and you know um, just uh, people not being able to uh, reach you irrespective of uh, whatever the allegations or whatever the situation might be um, in your hopes and fears you have the Emperor so I think you're hoping to get control of a situation and just uh, you know get things under get things under control with the emperor basically um you know with the five of swords and your overall energy things could be getting a little out of hand in the month of july so the emperor is the pacifier i mean he the energy of the person who's embodied the, the person who is embodying the energy of the emperor often acts as the pacifier as well because their presence is so assuring that people around them who could be disturbed or anxious could can have can feel confident because of the emperor and then they calm down or they pacify in your potential outcome you have the high priestess so that's you working with your intuition about something or you keeping quiet about something or keeping something under the rugs i'm not sure so let's clarify first your overall energy for the month of july which is the five of swords we have the tower after in the deck
so the seven of cups the seven of cups flipped out we have the six of cups and this card is sticking out here so i'll just take it we have the knight of cups all right leo so it looks like you're really extending yourself to somebody for the month of july because this is now your overall energy also there could be somebody who's extending themselves to you but it looks like with the seven of cups and the six of cups uh you know uh, this the person that you're dealing with there is a sense of things getting better from confusion to you know um all right let's come together in this and let's make peace or you know let's make love with the with the with the knight of cups because the knight of cups is someone who desires to be a lover um leo now i feel like this is like your oh, this is you sabotaging yourself with the five of swords because you could be feeling a whole lot of uh emotions for somebody or you could be trying to reach out to somebody but you could be stopping yourself or your thoughts could be stopping yourself and you might feel like okay it's better that i not extend myself out to this person as the knight of cups and if this is not your energy where you're sabotaging yourself then it's the person that you're dealing with who's not who's being uncooperative with the five of swords so uh, leo you must take whatever resonates and just leave the rest uh, now the energy that you're dealing with is the two of cups so let's get three cards for that you know in this two of cups which is unusual i notice a snake here do you see it so there could be like a there could be like a sneaky third party you know in your connection leo this is just a sudden message uh, that i got there could be a snake between the two of you somebody who's causing problems but you know what there's also an angel here look at the lion on top there's an angel protecting your connection but also there is a snake between you guys so we'll get three cards to clarify so for the two of cups you get the sun that's your energy leo the ace of swords and the page of cups all right so uh, leo um these are all very positive energies now the person that you i mean the energy that you're dealing with is showing up as a two of cups where feelings are mutual and it looks like you know this person also wants clarity in a situation this person is coming to you with a lot of uh, positivity um uh, vitality you know imagine the sun that comes and energizes everything on the planet so uh, this person wants to energize the connection uh, with the page of cups the person you're dealing with is showing up less emotionally enthusiastic than yourself because you're showing up as the knight and the person you're dealing with is showing up as the page of cups but overall there is a there is a coming together when it when it comes to uh you know let's work things out like let's make peace in this situation it's just that with your overall energy as the five of swords i think i'm this is definitely confirmed self sabotage because the person you're dealing with is also you know they look like they're coming in with a lot of positivity but there's something in your mind that is uh creating confusion you know with the five of swords and the seven of cups but regardless leo you're working towards this person and this person is working towards you now in your opportunity the opportunity that's coming your way you have the seven of swords so let's clarify that
So for the opportunities coming your way, you have the judgment, the three of cups, wow, and the six of pentacles. Leo, it looks like the month of July is going to be a great month for you. And it looks like you're going to have the opportunity to defend yourself. Uh, and this is related to a situation in the past because the judgment is often past unresolved issues that come back because you know these need to be dealt with before a cycle is closed off and a fresh way of and a fresh cycle can be begun uh, and a fresh cycle can begin with whoever you're dealing with you know uh, with the three of uh, uh, cups and the six of pentacles it looks like there's a lot of coming together and good times um, abundance positivity with the six of pentacles it's there's balance so it looks like you know the six of pentacles showing up in the opportunity so it might be that leo somebody might have wronged you in the past where you might have given a lot uh, of yourself to somebody uh, or your resources to somebody and you didn't receive enough back but now it looks like you're going to get you're going to receive you're going to get the opportunity to get back everything that you've given out in this world and with the judgment and the three of cups uh, clarifying the seven of wands there is a chance for a past issue that has caused much trouble uh, to be resolved and for you to come out victorious and uh, for you to you know just be on higher ground with the seven of wands now in your hopes and fears you have the emperor so let's clarify what that is about just one more shuffle here For the Emperor, you get the Hangman, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Lovers. All right, Leo. So, um, with the Hangman, that is, uh, you know, Hangman is usually a card of non action or seeing things from a different perspective, stopping to see things. Uh, um, stopping to see things stopping to see how things can be handled differently um, I think Leo there's been something that has been keeping you suspended or has been keeping you stuck with the hangman but with the nine of pentacles I think you're going to be able to work on your stability and with the lovers you're going to be able to make a choice about what or whom it is that you truly love and you want in the days to come and this is what is helping you gain control in the month of July that is why you're showing up as the Emperor also you know with the Emperor and the lovers of course there's an important connection here that you're dealing with but I think uh, Leo uh, you had the two of cups also in the energy that you're dealing with uh, plus in the opportunity you had someone coming together but I think uh, you could be hoping for somebody to it's like with the nine of pentacles and the lovers it's like somebody has to choose between being single and being with somebody and this choice needs to be made you know with the hangman so you could be just uh, looking at things from a different perspective and then uh, choosing whether you want to be single or whether you want to be with somebody who you truly love this could be vice versa if you're hoping for somebody to do this take this action towards you but overall with the emperor leo in a gist you're hoping to get a control to get a control over the situation and just oversee and take responsibility when it comes to uh, you know this entire situation and making peace and as I said like the pacifier so uh, things are getting better 
um, if your situation has been difficult but these are all really positive energies on the table other than the five of swords everything else is super positive the hangman is a card of non-action but i feel like leo you've been single for quite some time or you have been focusing on yourself and the nine of pentacles is a solo energy so uh, maybe you're finally deciding to come together with somebody in the month of july now in your potential outcome we have the high priestess so let's get three cards for that So for the High Priestess, you get the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, Leo, it looks like there's an end, there's a potential for a painful cycle to come to an end with the Ten of Pentacles, um, so with the Ten of Swords. With the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, this is some kind of shift that's occurring. You know, I see um, an ending between you and somebody, a potential ending between you and somebody with the Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles here. Uh, and if it's not an ending with somebody, it's your kind of putting an end to a certain cycle in your life. It could be a cycle where you were constantly working as the fixer or the provider or constantly giving to people, but this is, this is coming to an end and there's going to be a shift from that. So this is a positive shift and your intuition is guiding you through this with the eight of wands, uh, with the high priestess and the eight of wands, you could be getting downloads, Leo. From your intuition so let's end the reading with three cards from the universe what does the universe have to say to leo at this time for the month of july we have the hierophant the page of wands and the king of wands Leo, there's a lot of progress in the connection that you're dealing with. If it's not a fire sign that you're dealing with, it's somebody who is embodying this energy or this could be you yourself or the both of you together. But what because the Hierophant is usually a joint commitment between an organization or a person, an institution and people or between two people themselves and an institution that they're committed to. But there is there is a lot of progress and growth from the Page of Wands to the King of Wands. That's a big jump. You're starting to, you know, the King of Wands is somebody who takes a stand, who speaks up, who takes the lead in a situation. So um, both you and your person, well, it's difficult for two people to lead usually, but somebody in the connection is taking the lead and, and uh, you know, this is moving things to much better um, energies between you and this uh, the, the person that you're dealing with so leo this is what i have for you um i hope this helped if you're still watching thank you for your patience thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing and i will catch you again soon later bye